Shortwave listening. Listeners use inexpensive portable world band receivers to access the shortwave bands, and some advanced hobbyists employ specialized shortwave communications receivers featuring digital technology as well as digital signal processing designed for optimum reception of shortwave signals, along with outdoor antennas to enhance performance. With the advent of the Internet, many international broadcasters have scaled back or terminated their shortwave transmissions in favor of web-based program distribution, while others are moving from traditional analog to digital broadcasting modes in order to allow more efficient delivery of shortwave programming. During the 1930s, new shortwave receivers appeared on the market as well as popular shortwave magazines and clubs. Listening to shortwave broadcast stations for news and information programming is common, but for many shortwave listeners, the goal is to receive as many stations from as many countries as possible, also known as dishing. Specialized interests of shortwave listeners may include listening for shortwave utility, or ute, transmissions such as shipping, sailing, naval, aviation, or military signals, listening for intelligence signals, or tuning in amateur radio stations. In 2002, according to the National Association of Shortwave Broadcasters, for estimated numbers of households with at least one shortwave set in working order, Asia led with a large majority, followed by Europe, Sub-Saharan Africa, and the former Soviet Union, respectively. Radios for shortwave reception generally have higher performance than those intended for the local medium wave, long wave or FM broadcast band, since dependable reception of shortwave signals requires a radio with increased sensitivity, selectivity, dynamic range and frequency stability. In the US, the shifting of resources from shortwave to internet and television by the Broadcasting Board of Governors, which oversees US international broadcasting, has also resulted in reduced broadcasting hours in the English language. Radio Netherlands, Voice of Russia, Radio Canada International and Radio Australia are among the prominent broadcasters who have ceased broadcasting on shortwave. Although most of the prominent broadcasters continue to scale back their analog shortwave transmissions or completely terminate them, shortwave is still very common and active in developing regions such as parts of Africa. Some international broadcasters have turned to a digital mode of broadcasting called Digital Radio Mondial for their shortwave outlets. International Broadcasting MWDX, similar to SWDishing except on the MW band list of American shortwave broadcasters list of European shortwave transmitters list of shortwave radio broadcasters World War II Radio Heroes, Letters of Compassion, D551E359D5D1.